So now we are going to export some maps from this creation. So I'm going to go to Subtools and select the plane and pressing F on the keyboard. Uh, you can see it filled up the whole canvas, which is exactly what we want because after we uh, export this render, it's going to be the base for our seamless texture map. So I'm going to select again uh, this subtool and I'm going to use a flat color uh, material and now I'm going to let's just go on the render and make sure we have shadows and shadows 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 anti-aliasing super sample you can sample super sample up one two zero the higher you get the longer it will render but the more crisp anti-aliased will the render be so then under a document zap link and just click drop now and it's going to open uh, Photoshop in my in my case and you're going to get these two three layers and just file new uh, the same size as the as the map that you just exported from uh, ZBrush, which is 1024 by 1024. Okay, and now I go back, holding Shift, select every uh, layer and Control E to merge them together. Uh, select the selection tool or press V on the keyboard and just click sh uh, and press and drag and holding Shift and let go, and it is centered in the new document. You can leave this one open because after we go back to ZBrush, it's going to ask us if we want to change something. We can just say OK, unchanged. And we have our flat color map uh, exported. Now we're going to use uh, normal RGB material and we're going to go under render and make sure we have under render properties shadows turned off. And again, I'm going to go to document and zap link and drop now. And it's going to ask us if we want to cancel or update, just update. And then again, shift, select everything, control E to merge them together, V on the keyboard, click and drag, shift and let go. And we have our normal map. It's that easy. And then let's go back to ZBrush, OK unchanged and we're going to uh, export lighting map we're going to use basic material but we're going to turn off uh, this brush so it's going to have only white completely white and under material we're going to increase a little bit our specularity to 20 or even more and now we're going to do the same as before uh, but we have to make sure we have under render shadows turned on you just have to control shift D to duplicate it this tool now that we duplicated this subtool we have to uh, we have to uh, paint it and we're going to paint it under color fill object document, zap link, drop now and again it's going to uh, click update and shift E, control E to merge everything together click and drag, shift, let go everything and we have our lighting map which it could be better but you can play around with the settings on the material in ZBrush to get it uh, better and as we can see here we have this uh, Z depth also created we could go back in ZBrush and select uh, a, a different subtool and just maybe push it up and push it down a little bit so the Z uh, depth would be a little bit different and we could use that so if we want to you can control A control C to copy it 
under channels, create a new one and control V to paste this Z depth which can be used afterwards so now we're going to create a cavity and pick mask so go back to ZBrush click OK unchanged and we're going to use basic material white color which we have already but we're going to turn uh, shadows off in render menu and under material we're going to crank up ambient to 100 diffuse to 0 specularity to 0 and let's just turn on uh, under render best render to see what's going on when we uh, change these settings cavity intensity cavity intensity where are you cavity intensity we are going to push it up to 20 and we're going to leave cavity radius at zero and cavity colorize to 100 and as we can see we get this nice looking mask for our bellies so just zap link it under document zap link drop now it's going to go back to uh, Photoshop and again control E V on the keyboard click and drag holding shift and we have our masked mask for our cavities create for our valleys created and now we're going to create uh, uh, for the peaks but because we touched the canvas it automatically went back to preview render so we have to, to again click on best render and now we're going to just do in the opposite direction and we get the peaks uh, unmasked on the document sapling drop now and again it's going to open up update control E V click and drag holding shift and we have our mask for our uh, pics created going back to ZBrush OK unchanged and let's see we will use outline material outline material which is where outline material here you are and now we're going to change the depth a crank it up, crank it up, crank it up and as you can see it's going to unmask or mask the edges so let's say minus 5, what's going to do that? minus 5 and depth for B is going to 5 and we have these edges or between the edges uh, masked so again just sapling it and it's great because we easily create this uh, mask that we can use in Photoshop now there you can uh, also create uh, ambient occlusion map just select matcap white for example and make sure you have under render uh, render properties shadows turned on and ambient occlusion turned on and just use BPR renderer and then just under render and render passes I did this uh, before so we won't have to wait for it to uh, render here so just go to ambient occlusion click on it and save it and then just open it up in Photoshop Control A, Control C, and Control V, and just use overlay or multiply, multiply to get ambient occlusion in it.